Yo, what's up everybody? Gbone one here, and it's time to get started on chapter 2 of Spec Ops The Line. This one is titled The Dune. Um, now, before we get started, I know uh, my chapter 1 uh, video, the audio was not too well in the beginning. Um, one of my friends had told me that. Um, I don't know why on YouTube it... Like, the helicopters just drown the sound out in the beginning. Um, my computer, it's perfectly fine. So, um, if this happens again, just let me know. And I'll try to fix that. I'm, I'm not sure what the problem is. Anyway, let's get started on Chapter 2. Not to argue, but this ain't exactly within our mission parameters. Yeah, well, our mission went from recon to rescue the minute we found U.S. soldiers butchered. Fucking orders. I like it. Orders ain't worth following if it means leaving people to die, Lugo. You guys should remember Conrad's what Captain Walker alive. says there, because there is a very is. important decision to make me. later on in the game. Jack's I believe it's Chapter 7. This is the nest. Yeah, it's quaint. Very post-apocalyptic. Just don't get cocky. Remember, these guys already took out four soldiers and kidnapped another. Now I know I've been forgetting about the intel items, but there's actually one right ahead of me. Put him down. Or, well, ahead of Captain Walker. Well, now it's to his left. Um, chapter one, I completely forgot about them. Reloading! So, yeah. And I, if any of you are wondering, I, I'm not too sure if you can go pure stealth right here. Because that guy always sees me no matter how stealthy I am. Well, I should have executed him when I had the chance. And yeah, now you get to learn how to use grenades partly. And yeah, as you can see, I use the silencer a lot. I don't know why, but I feel like it gives better accuracy, and the enemies don't hear me, so they shoot at Lugo and Adams more. And there's music playing in the background, and that is not the game, that is, well, that's not like background music, that's the actual, like, game that's coming out of some speakers in the game. You'll learn why in a few minutes. I'm not too sure what would happen if those three got through the door. Or go. Yeah, I don't know what would happen if they were on the corner. I, they did the first playthrough when I first caught the game, but I don't know. Oh, there's also an intel item right where I'm running to towards, like to the left of right there. Yeah, like right there where I was. And that's my phone going off. Anyway, and. Here's where you learn about the radio. You guessed it. An end to the ceasefire. All insurgents wishing to surrender, please report to your nearest outpost for processing. We now return to our regularly scheduled broadcast. Here we go. Let me go on record and say this shit just got weird. Fuck weird. This is Game Informer said that the music did not fit this game because it was more like. Well, honestly, I don't want to get the error mixed up here, so it was before, you know, some music before, like, the 80s, I think. I'm not too sure on that. That they play here, like, 60s music, maybe? I'm not too sure. I'm probably getting it mixed up. Anyway, they said it did not fit. Honestly, I think it really does fit. You'll hear more of it. There's a song near the very end. Well, before... Eh. I think, like, chapter... Nine, no, probably chapter six, maybe. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm not too sure anymore. All I know is it's when you go to the radio tower. But the um, 
probably chapter 8. Anyway, um, it has a song that my father told me that it's something, it's like Leganda music. And if you listen to the lyrics, it actually fits this game perfectly, so... I don't know, and yeah, this is where you learn how to learn uh, how to use a turret. Which you can crouch and uncrouch. And that, I don't know if that was the first time the sand is used in the game. I think it is. Easy, you can just shoot windows of sand. Sand, I'm sorry. Now right here, what you want to do is you do not want to hide next to that white wall that I ran past. I did that the first two playthroughs and had to run to this wall and almost died both times. Especially since the second time I was on suicide mission difficulty. So yeah, you just hide here and you're basically safe as long as you don't pop up. Especially on suicide mission and food bar, you do not want to pop up here. And I do not think your teammates can go down here. So you're pretty much good. Limitless waves of enemies. And I just blew that guy's head off and I did not know I did that. Yeah, you, you do not want to take this much damage in higher difficulties. If you look in the background, there's a sandstorm coming. Yeah, you don't have to kill any of these guys. You can just let them all shoot at you and you'll be good. And then these two guys come up on the right. So I'll take them out because I think they are the only two that can actually kill you without you popping up. Yeah, they, I pointed at the sandstorm. Now, what's about to happen, I'm not too sure how it happens. I'm guessing the sandstorm does it. Maybe there's a little detail I forget, like right here. How I don't know how the roof breaks. It's probably from all the sand, probably, and the movement on top. I'm not 100% sure. And then you fall into the next chapter. I'll see you guys there.